Hello guys, welcome to this video. I am going to show you and discussing some uh, problem in optimal control field. So we have uh, this example here. We have a cost function which is j. This uh, here it's written here. J equal to half x1 uh, 2 minus 4 square plus half x2 2 at time to this uh, final time minus 2 all square plus half uh, integration 0 2 u square dt and we have boundary condition here we have initial condition which is x1 and x2 at time 0 and x2 is free okay find the optimal control optimal state so we need to solve this problem uh, using Hamilton Jacobian uh, Bellman equation okay uh, in this video I'm not going to um, go into uh, the derivation and uh, the details I'll go ahead and solve the problem if you need to see um, the procedure of, uh, of derivation of Hamilton uh, Hamiltonian equations please click the links below and check my other videos in this channel okay <coughs> okay let me write it uh, write this uh, problem down uh, I forgot uh, uh, to model the system, the equation of the model. So we have the model right now. x1 dot equal to x2. And x2 dot will be equal to u, the control input. Okay? And we have the performance index, which is j, given in the problem. All this is given in problem. x1. The first state at final time tf minus 4 all square plus half x2 at tf which is 2 minus 2 all square plus half integration from 0 to 2 the initial time to final time of our control input which is u of t okay dt this is our performance index performance index okay or cost function we have such uh, initial condition because we have two states here so we have two states here so which is given as one and two and as we said uh, at the final time the two states are free okay okay uh, as I said we are not going to discuss any details here if you need to see what does mean by this and uh, the formulation of control performance index, you need to uh, click my, my other videos or uh, check my uh, links below. Okay. Okay. So the Hamilton Jacobian Bellman equation, which is formulated like this. Okay. Okay. So first, and we have H the Hamiltonian. To be equal to L plus lambda transpose times F. Okay, so what's L lambda and F? Uh, the function L would be equal to <coughs> which is half times u square. Okay, half times u square t. Okay, and uh, because we have two states in the system here x1 and x2, so lambda will be we have two lambda here, we have a vector here which is lambda 1 and lambda 2. Okay, so as I said, because we have two states here, so we have two lambdas here. Okay, this is will be equal to lambda transpose, will be equal to this, and f will be a column vector, uh, which is what, which is just I need to repeat. Uh, we have um, we have this Hamilton Jacobian Bellman equation, and we have this Hamiltonian equation. Okay, and uh, we formulate this and we substitute all these two into this function. Okay. So we got the Hamiltonian would be equal to, which is L half u square of t plus lambda 1 of t is a function of t and lambda 2 of t times this column vector x2 and u. Okay? And this will be equal to half u square. Just I need to um, uh, write it like this way plus <coughs> lambda 1 x2 plus lambda 2 times u okay now in the Hamilton Jacobian Willman equation we need to in order to find uh, the bottom line that we need to use star of t which is the optimal control system 
uh, the optimal uh, signal for the control system which is will be uh, applied to system and we get x star of t which is um, the state optimal state and this optimal control so we need to find this in order to find this we need to take partial h which is simultaneous partial u and equate it to zero and then find u star of t okay <clears throat> We need to differentiate this equation with respect to u and equate it to zero and find u star of t. Okay, so we have dh by du will be equal to when we differentiate this, we will get u of t plus zero When we differentiate this with, with respect to u, which is 0, plus this with, with respect to u, we got only lambda 2. Alright? So we have u of t, which is the optimal control, will be uh, this equal to 0. Equate this to 0, equal to minus lambda 2 of t. Okay? So this is the uh, first part of this video. Okay? So we see in the next part thank you for watching if you have any uh, comments or any um, questions in uh, this field please leave it the comments below and i'll do my best uh, to reply to all these uh, messages okay thank you for watching see you next in the next part okay bye bye